welcome to Ready, Steady, Grow, my coaching tip in less than five minutes. Today is less of a, a tip and more of a question to you and a kind of observation as I watch the Olympics. And I'm a big Olympics fan. Um, I, I think it's the variety that I like and uh, really the stories behind the athletes. I love, you know, um, hearing how they got to where they are but also the kind of overcoming adversity like there's so much hope and inspiration in the olympics i think that's true of all sport actually but anyway for today we're talking about the olympics but what i've noticed when i've been watching the post event interviews particularly from the gb um uh, athletes but also uh, people like simone biles is that there's been a shift so so in previous Olympics they'd be like oh I'm really disappointed I couldn't do this and almost kind of really being quite hard on themselves but this year I'm noticing there's a lot more I'm just so grateful to be here um being at the Olympics is more than a medal um you know I'm really proud of myself I'm proud of what we achieved we you know we just wanted to be in it you know, we were aiming high, but, you know, the journey that we've had and there's a lot more kind of um, reflection and gratitude. And I mean, there's always been a growth mindset, but as I've watched it, I'm like, oh, we're saying this kind of thing again. And I think it's brilliant. I think it's um, really inspirational. And for me, Helen Glover, I mean, yeah, amazing. Um, and I really you know, I really identify not as an athlete, but as that I'm away from home from my kids. I want to do the best for them, but I also really want to get back for them. Um, but she really summed it up and she said, uh, they said, you know, are you pleased with what you've done? And she's just like, yeah, I mean, we, you know, a year ago I had just had twins and I was thinking to myself, oh, well, maybe. And then she took on, you know, like, all this weight training, rowing training, all at home whilst looking after the kids and Steve Backshaw kind of helping her alongside. If you haven't seen the documentary, I'd highly recommend it instantly. Um, and Polly Swan, she was uh, working in the NHS as a doctor and they kind of got together and they're like, shall we just see what we can do? And so she said, you know, when I was in Rio, it was all about the medals. They were mine for the taking. But now I'm very much saying, what does success look like? for me and success for me was coming to the Olympics and seeing what we could do and seeing what we could achieve and she achieved a PB they got fourth in the final race like it was an amazing journey so my question to you in a very long-winded way is what does success look like for you and remember it will be different for you than it will be for anybody else you get to define what success looks like if it's a medal awesome um you know or a medal equivalent but it could be you know pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and just seeing if you can do it or learning what was the other thing she said um it's okay to try and fail because it's the trying that's important I think I'm paraphrasing there but that was the underlying message and and so it might be just seeing what you're capable of and what you're not and then learning from that and being proud of your willingness and I'm gonna you know quote Brene Brown or not quote paraphrase her you know get stepping into that arena and being willing to be vulnerable and to be courageous so um there's a lot in there just kind of my random thoughts for a, a mid first week summer holidays kind of <laughs> olympics um rsg video a red city grow video so um yeah what does success look like for you and what are you uh, if you're watching the olympics what are you taking from them have a lovely day